Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. It seems like uh, now is the Ukrainians' turn uh, to make fun of the Russians, since they posted a video with Valery Zaluzny, the commander in chief, the one that, you know, the Russians said uh, hit in the head and with all kinds of things in an attack. The Ukrainians listened to me and they featured a video with him. And someone else mentioning the date that this is from today, the 25th of May, you know, they confirmed that uh, is done today and the Russian propaganda is not working. I'm going to feature the video here. I do not speak Ukrainian or Russian. They have a translation for, uh, of whatever they say in this video. I will feature the video. And that guy seems to be a Zaluzny. So uh, I guess uh, now is the Russians turn to say, um, what do we say now? <laughs> okay, what's our evidence now? All right, so let's see what's going on here. So this article comes from Ukraine Forum and it is from the 25th of uh, May, 2023. In fresh video, Sink C. Zalunsky debunks Russian fakes on his injury death. All right, here is the date and I have the video. As I said, I don't speak Ukrainian, but uh, this is the translation. All right, it says, uh, throughout May, we are witnessing enchanting and science fiction stories made up by Russian propaganda, as well as various conspiracy versions by so-called experts. Oh, they don't like experts like I do like them. <laughs> Finally, today on May 25, thank you, I'd like to reveal a massive secret, uh, a really massive, terrible secret about the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, said Stefan. I'm glad. And that's exactly what I said. Say something like the date, have him over there, move a little bit so it's not a picture. And they did all that, my friends. All that. After that, Zaluzny comes into the frame saying, and I'm quoting, I sincerely thank all Ukrainians. Together we will definitely win. And not only today always all right so this is the guy who spoke and you're gonna see here this guy talking about exactly what i said and on his right here is gonna be zaluzny let me make it uh, loud and see Excellent. Well, now, is this him? Looks to me it is him. So, uh, Russians, your turn. All right, so this is where it was right here, posted on, I guess, uh, uh, something, Twitter, I don't know what it is, Telegram. Uh, anyway, so here is the video, here is what he said. Now, as I always said, until I see the guy moving and someone talking and talking, hey guys, it's today the whatever it is, and I'm not dead, I'm right here, I would not believe it, right? I don't have any evidence to doubt that that's him. I don't recognize uh, any, uh, how should I put it, not the other way around. I do, that's him to me. Okay, um, now I want to hear what the, the Russians would say about it. Because obviously they said, according to the information they got from this and uh, this and that, he's injured, he is in a hospital and so on. I covered all that and I'm glad these guys listened to me. Am I not so important? <laughs> but I'm glad they mentioned the day. I'm glad that the guy was over there. And uh, I'm waiting for others to come and uh, tell us what's going on. What could have happened? Simply the Russians lied. Not impossible. Uh, I mean, possible? Possible. Probable? Yeah, probable. I will give, let's say, I don't even know right now. This is the guy. I don't, uh, I don't... I don't know him to say, oh, I don't think his eyebrow is not uh, curly enough or something. You know what I mean? Uh, that's him. So what do you think, guys? Who fucked up? The Russians? Or do you think it's something that the Ukrainians did that we are like, oh, that's not him? Rather, even speaking 
moving, the guy tells us the date, the guy puts in the context. I don't know, I don't know, uh, unless I receive any other evidence that this is not uh, him or something, that's him, so they proved it. So remember when I said uh, on the Russian side, patience is a virtue? Well, that's universal, that's why it's a virtue or a value, because you can use it, you know, the Ukrainians, it seems like they had patience. Now, let's, let's play the uh, devil's advocate here, okay? Now, could have been uh, injured? I don't know, I didn't see any, any injuries, anything like that. Could it be somewhere else? I don't know, I didn't see anything. Now, could it be that he was injured somewhere else? Could be. Uh, I remember when I made a, a video while in Romania, and I was walking and I was doing with uh, blah, 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 blah. someone commented, oh, you got legs. <laughs> One of our friends here, oh, you got legs. Because right now you don't even know if I have legs. <laughs> you know, and if I wear any pants or any underwear or anything like that. So I don't know, maybe I have one leg and the other one is a wooden one stretching like that. <laughs> so the same here. He seems normal. He seems everything. I don't know. And even if, even if, even if the Russians hit him, even if the Russians, uh, I don't know, uh, injured him, he's right there talking and seemed to be okay. And the Russians also said, this is another claim they made, that Zaluzny will not be able to uh, continue his tasks as a commander-in-chief. Uh, he seemed to me uh, to be normal. Not like, ooh, ooh, you know what I mean? Or anything like that. No picture, nothing like that. So I don't care if he has anything underneath him or not. He's uh, there and he uh, seemed to be, uh, not seem, 100% there. Uh, not like uh, <clears throat> other here in the United States of America, if you know what I mean. So, what other things could be? Even if they hit him, he's alive. Do we care if he was hit or not? I don't. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because he's right there. So, as from the Russian side, they can, you know, celebrate. Hey, we hit him, we hit him. Well, you hit him, but he's still alive. So, that means zero. Did, did you hit him to kill him or just to come over and tell us, uh, we're going to win in the end? Oh, uh, uh, so obviously that wasn't a, uh, not a success uh, for the Russians. Uh, on the other hand, where was he? I don't know. Maybe he had some other medical issues. I, uh, I read somewhere that he has some medical issues somewhere else, uh, a little bit down there. But I don't care. I really don't care. Uh, no, no, no. He doesn't want to transition. <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> Not bad. So anyway, the guy is there and seems to be okay. As I said, I never had uh, anything uh, against or I didn't catch him saying anything stupid. That's why for me, he's the only one, the only one so far in the all, all this uh, Ukrainian leadership or the leadership of Ukraine, to be more, specific, more uh, correct about it. Uh, he's the only one who never made a fool of himself, never said something stupid, uh, was never... I don't know, insulting as far as I, I couldn't find anything. He was a gentleman, he was a military, he was a decent person. Now, obviously, he's the enemy of the other guys, but he's not my enemy. You know what I mean? So, that's the way it is, my friends. Uh, I'm, I don't want to say, well, I'm celebrating that he's alive. He didn't do anything to me. I'm okay with that. And uh, as I said, he's a uh, general making or doing his job. Doing a job against some other people. Well, he's in the command. Um, he's in a certain kind of a circle somewhere. That's a different story. So, he's alive. He's alive! Ooh. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.